is fanatical by nature. But now I fear his ambition as well. Please help me. You say he's giving these servants as gifts? Yes, and they must be connected somehow to the scripture. The servants are weapons, and the nobles have just invited them into their homes. I don't see a problem with that. What do I care if Bandley <laughs> gets a face full of gas that turns him into rust? That sounds awesome. It'll make his house really easy to rob. And the schematics confirm what my agents presumed. Markham's Isle is the staging area for the Cetus Project. Markham Island? You knew about Markham's Isle? Do you know what it took to get into that office? Better yet, do you know what it took to get out? A piece of my soul, Vicky. Honestly, I don't even care what's on Mark Hamill. Do we know what the Cetus Project is? The schematics are too technical to decipher. Yeah, for friggin' tree hippies. Find a hammer bro and ask him, with violence. But the name they reference, Brother Cavador, is the best lead we've had in months. Then we need him. Lotus, my agent on Markham's Isle, may have information on Cavador. Unfortunately, we've had no word from him for some time. They probably iced him the second they saw him. Barefoot Pagan kind of sticks out. I'd probably knock him out and leave him in a compromising position too. I guess it's all downhill from here. You can't beat life of the party, so you might as well do something completely different. How about a spy mission where you're sent to an island to find a secret underwater mechanist base built under a lighthouse that's also over an old pirate base? You know what? That's also really cool. We are rich as hell at the moment because we just played Life of the Party. So I'm stocking up. Walking in with 30 water arrows is cool, but the real money is going into gas arrows. You might remember gas arrows being the BFG of the previous game, and even though half the enemies we're dealing with in this game can't be gassed, they're still gonna come in handy. Start off in front of a giant mechanized drilling machine. If I were Cavador, where would I be? You know, if Karis wasn't planning to kill all those people, he could do some good. Okay. But Karis... Someone there. Right at the start, I should have known. Mechanist security is extremely heavy for the rest of the game after they turned it off in Angel Watch. Oh yeah, she saw me. I shall find thee. Thou canst not have gone far. You know what you're about to find? I think on the head. The Mechanist definitely killed all the pirates who inhabited this island and started drilling. They found silver, which is mine now. Now to sneak up to the surface of this heavily guarded island with a lot of automated steampunk security, or as I lazily call it, ass. This island, Mark Hamill, has a lot of ass. Okay, well that's the first joke we're cutting. We've got some gate controls here, no security face controls, which sucks. Don't do like I did and hit it with a fire arrow, cause the whole damn island will hear the explosion. There's a switch on top to deactivate it. Not that I need to, I never come back here. But for Good a moment, cog, is I that you? I saw. This loud metal ramp is the wrong way to get to the surface. Climb the rope in the well to not come face to face with a bomb robot. I can't pick the cold storage lock, so I have to go searching for a key. This leads to much brain damage. If someone be there, then bespeak thyself. <laughs> A noise? I'm as sure of it as the- oh! What noise there that softly comes? Mm -hmm. Obviously the big dick at the top of the lighthouse has the key, and if I didn't have side objectives I'd go straight for him. Someone's hired me to steal an antique globe that's hidden in this house somewhere. The attic is usually the best place to look for that kind of thing, but I'm not taking the sucker's way through the house where there's mechanists waiting there to hit me with maces and yell scripture at me. I feel pretty good about that one. Open the crawl space and there's the loot. The other side objective I get is to recover lost pirate gold. Which is cool and all, but the world seems to be in crisis right now. Into the most secure refrigerator I've ever seen, and here we find... Lotus? Still I breathes, mechanist. I'm no mechanist. I'm Garrett. Garrett, yes. The lady knows me you would come. Knew I would come? Hush, sneaksy friend. Time runs out. There bees a mechanist named Cavador. Garrus needs him, relies he on his craftsy works. The Cetus Project. Cetus Amicus. Horror of the seas. Horror of the seas. Must... tells the lady. Don't worry. 
I'll find Cavador. Karis will be stopped. Ah, oh, kids. This. This turns into a boondoggle worthy of the CIA. Takes you the key. Beware. And... Garrett. Yes, my friend. What can I do? The cold feels nothing now. Garrett, I, I begs, return me to the green. Kill me! Oh. No, nah, man, it doesn't have to be like that. I can warm you up. Well, maybe you should've worn friggin' shoes! Dirty hippie. He gave me a piece of wood, not a key. It's actually a peg for a steering wheel in the lighthouse. What the? That seals it. Karras is Goldfinger. His henchmen even have cute little wetsuits. And control for oh! Hmm. That must be the Cetus Amicus. Guess I'll sneak aboard and have a look around. Interesting that this world also has Latin. Cetus Amicus translates to Chariot of the Sad Dog. No, I'm kidding. It actually translates to Whale Friend, which I think is funnier. Let's just sneak by this metal face here. Oh, crap. Elsewhere. Mark. Ah. Thou art surely smoked. Oh yeah, come over here and smoke me. How the unrighteous fall. You're embarrassing yourself. Ah. Ow. Okay, well. Thy days of sin end now, villain! Oh my god, you were such a nerd! <laughs> this place is built into and on top of an old pirate base, so a lot of it is still wooden. Nice touch and... Oh god damn it! Now, what you're watching me do here, this is wrong because the whale friend is right around the corner and well guarded. This man here, wearing scuba gear, is patrolling the deck of the submarine. And kids, there might be a way to knock him out, but I don't know it. He's wearing a helmet, so no blackjack, and he's wearing scuba gear so my gas arrows won't work. Nice touch, game designers, fuck you. Well, back to the face. It can be deactivated here, and the rest of the guards can also be deactivated. Thanks for covering all these metal catwalks and carpet, you dumbasses. They were guarding a flooded area with some of the new scripture, which implies that Karis is gonna kill everything, and I mean everything. All living things, animals, plants, and worst of all, Basso's sister. This is unacceptable, we're running out of time. So I'm gonna go steal a lost pirate treasure. There's an underwater cave leading to the wreck, which doesn't look too threatening. <laughs> Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. If ye be reading this note, ye likely be here for the bounty of the good ship Catherine's folly. The same as the fool before ye. Ye best be turning back now and stay out of me vessel's hold, for ye suffer the same fate as he. Is he? What, with the sword? Worse things could happen. Like finding out the entire story was a fantasy that took place at a pirate-themed amusement park. Now that'd be bullshit. I'm just gonna grab this unlocked treasure here, not like you're making it very hard for me. Oh no! A ghost! You're busted, bitch! Now we just sneak onto the ship, get down to the lower deck. Thou wert not with the Order of the Hammer before? Nay, those brothers wert always too stern and righteous for my choice. And they- As a hammer, I- oh. 
All right, I picked up all their cargo keys, so I'm gonna steal everything from here before stowing away. The game doesn't seem to care that I sacked the bridge crew. That's okay. I'm sure when we get into port, I'll be able to jump out, throw a couple flash bombs, grab Cavador, blow up some robots. Yeah, everything's gonna be just fine. I'm back in the lost city. I should have known. Why? Guess I'll take the back door home. Why would you have known that? Why would anyone want to come back to this automatically lit, burrick-infested fire trap? Well, the good news is that the burricks and fire elementals that used to be here are no longer here. The bad news is that the mechanists are here in greater numbers than I've ever seen them. And this place is huge. Where am I supposed to find Brother Cavador? Then you must seek out Brother Cavador, for he alone can aid you. No other here hath his understanding of the ancient ways. I pray thee, tell me where I might find the good brother then? At his house? Mayhap, though I think it unlikely. More likely he doth his daily work tours now. What? Must I wonder fallen careth din till I find brother Cavador then? <laughs> Nay, I think that not necessary. Seekest thou within? There thou shalt surely find a scroll with his intended path writ upon it. Oh, of course. Thank you for telling me that at the beginning of the level so that I didn't wander around like a jackass for an hour in this labyrinthine collection of ruins that I didn't want to visit in the first game. This is my least favorite level of Thief 2, which is a polite way of saying that I hate it. A lot. I've been dreading getting to it, just like I'm dreading the mission after it, and I would really like it if Brother Cavador would just spill his guts now so I don't have to go through this torturous mission. So that mechanist was right when she said that there was a scroll that had the exact locations Brother Cavador was gonna visit. In order, as he does every day. Sites 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, and 7. Site 5 is where he lives, I think. I didn't really explore it. There's one door leading to the rest of the level that I have to open, and I know that there's a switch to do it. But it's a switch that's identical to all the light switches in the building, and the only thing that differentiates it is a plaque. And if I can barely see that plaque in this darkness, then it must be absolutely invisible to anyone watching on YouTube. And it is also right next to one of the lights. Now comes the part where I have to attempt to find Brother Cavador. See, if he's at a site, there's a green light that'll be on. Or if he's just left a site, the green light'll be on. Having a note that details his route, and a map of that route, and a light that goes on when he's around, kind of seems like the mechanists want him to be kidnapped, you know, if they're gonna make it that easy to find him. It certainly wasn't easy this time. We got robots, we got mechanical faces everywhere, and bomb-tossing faces, we've got patrols. Still we patrol, lest a Berg's ghost should disturb poor brother Cavador. Why, he still wears his mask as though he might be attacked at any minute. Nay, speak not harshly of our brother and leader, for does he not speak with Karras' own voice? Bereft of his leadership, we should be rudderless. Tis only right and proper. Combo. Okay, so you know how I said you shouldn't use fire arrows to blow up the metal faces because the explosion draws too much attention? Well, we need to thin out the herd on this level, because there's more mechanists here than there are empty brick buildings. So... Friend, awaken thyself. Some curse Combo, bingo, the mother load. The mechanists have some issues with pathfinding in some of these places, and I honestly can't be bothered with stealth in this mission because I hate it, and I'm tired of its bullshit, and we haven't even gotten to the bullshit. You have to find another passage from the new scripture of the Master Builder, which is just lying around. It doesn't provide much new information, except that Karras is gonna hole up inside a Soul Forge, his Grand Cathedral. It takes a lot for me to not really care about stealth in this stealth game. It takes running around this level for an hour and not finding Cavador. I spent so much time going around and clearing a path so I could haul him out of here without too much trouble. I figured that he would probably be on his third or fourth stop by now, Site 2 or Site 3. Guess what? He's not. So I go further down the line, Site 4, Site 8, Site 7, nothing. No green lights or anything. So I go all the way to Site 1, a death trap if I've ever seen one, and behold, a green light. I don't see him, so that means, according to the scroll, that he was recently there. So I go to the next site on the list, then the next one then the next one, and you know what? He's not at any of the other sites! So I go and check his very first stop, an hour after I opened that door into the Lost City and started on this mission proper. And guess what? That's where he is. You see, one of the mechanist NPCs has been running around in front of him for an hour. 
I've got two gas arrows, and Brother Cavador is wearing a gas mask. My only play is to do a full frontal assault. You know, the thing that's the worst possible strategy in this game. You're like, shoot some noisemakers over there and draw a couple out. Nah, I gotta take everything out as fast as possible. And the hitbox on this control panel isn't doing me any favors. So we're doing this dirty, kids. Real dirty. And I gotta drag this asshole all the way to Site 9 to exit. We're in the end game now, kids. And after I do one filler mission and two real ones, Karis is gonna get what's coming to him. The droopy bastard. Looks like my old route is still open. 